Rom Guruji here, and today we're going to have a look at a setup, right? Uh, so this is my gaming and creative setup, right? So yeah, this is the first time I'm actually showing my face on cam, right? So I'm sorry for the uncam beard. Haven't pretty really gotten the time to, you know, get everything done. Yeah. So okay. So after this little introduction, I'm going to actually show you the setup. Right, so after this, you're going to see the setup, and then I'll be back to talk about the setup. Right, so guys, we're back, and the beautiful setup you saw is actually not that costly all right so let's dive right into it yeah so we'll start with the main component that is the laptop right this is asus fx 505d wire so pretty sturdy laptop and pretty heavy too but doesn't look that big does it yeah okay so the asus fx 505d wire has a Ryzen 5 3550H. It has a RX 560X graphic card and has a edge to edge display, nano display IPS LCD screen. And, but it is just 60 hertz. It also has backlit keyboard. So I'll show you the backlit keyboard. Yeah. So it has a backlit keyboard, but it's just in one red color, which can be very daunting at night, right? Okay, so this is a beautiful laptop, but it has aged specs. Why am I still suggesting this? Because right now you can buy this laptop anywhere from 45 to 50,000, right? So on a lot of sites, it's coming for 45 to 50,000. When I got it, I actually got it for 50, right? And uh, I got it from Chroma, but now it's more uh, viable to buy it from Amazon. So I'll be dropping the link down below in the description for you to go and purchase the laptop. And I'll also be dropping links to alternatives. So it's a pretty cool laptop. Yeah. And uh, so this, my model has a one terabyte HDD included. Otherwise, uh, there are a few versions of it on Amazon, which include a 512 GB SSD or, or a one terabyte hard disk plus 256 GB SSD. So yeah, this is a pretty cool laptop. And even in this, uh, here it performs really well so ryzen 5 3550h is a very very you know well performing chip and it's pretty good right now why this laptop okay firstly so if you observe it has these back cooling vents right and it has a uh, like a bottom air intake right so that's pretty awesome like uh, the thermals on this laptop are really great I can assure you, I've played a lot of games and the thermals are really great. The only caveat is, and this is something that I realized after a lot of using it for a year. So I do programming, video editing, gaming, all of that. So what I realized is that these vents, if not kept on a proper place and if dust goes into it, they jam up the fans inside, right? So that might cause performance issues. All you need to do in this laptop, at least, is actually open up these screw bits, right? And in this laptop, the one good thing is you don't have to open these pads to access the screws. The screws are directly accessible and it's very easy to open and it's a very easy, you know, upgradable kind of a laptop as well as RAM, SSD and battery goes. Yeah, so that's really cool and uh, it has great finish even if you go to work and use it. It has a very minimal game design, right? So the reds are not too much. There is red, but not too much, right? Uh, it has great I.O. So as you can see, uh, it has two USB 3.1s, one USB 2, right? So audio jack, this one has a dedicated DAC. So the audio experience is really great. The speakers are down firing uh, here and they're not that great. <laughs> like, I mean, they're good enough, but they're not that great. But when you switch on the DTS component, the chip DAC component on this laptop uh, using the application included that is DTSX 
uh, that application will make the sound even from coming from your speaker much more louder, much more clearer. And headphone, it is a joy to use on this. So it's really good, right? Moreover, this is a military tough, military grade toughness laptop, right? So this is the Asus Tough series. So they come with this plasticky material. Yes, it's not metal. It doesn't feel premium, but it's strong. Okay, even if you drop it once in a while, it won't cause much damage to this. So that's really nice, right? Oh, it's not waterproof. <laughs> in case you're wondering, it's not waterproof. Spill proof, yes. Waterproof, no. So yeah. So this is the laptop and it performs really well. I use it for uh, Photoshop, I use it for Premiere, I use it for other video editing, uploading, etc. It's supposed to Wi-Fi 6 and uh, it's running well. It's genuinely running pretty well. Windows is problematic as such, but the laptop itself is running pretty well. And it, uh, with 8GB RAM, it handles Premiere good, but I would suggest if you're buying this laptop, do also buy a RAM stick of 8GB 2666 dual channel. And why 2666 dual channel is because it will get you the best performance since it already has a 8 GB RAM stick 2666 and AMD CPUs mostly perform well with a dual channel memory rather than a single channel memory. So keep that in mind, buy an 8 GB extra and content creation and gaming would be an ease for you. I play Rainbow Six Siege and it's a very less demanding game. So anyways, you're not going to require a lot of you know, graphical power, but other games also run pretty well on medium settings on this laptop and it's a budget laptop. So you don't have to pay too much, but you're going to get the gaming feel, the premium feels at a lower package cost, right? Okay. So that was our laptop, Asus FX505 device. Then we're going to come to the accessories and what are the accessories? Well, uh, there's a keyboard, there's a mouse, and I used to be a console gamer and there are a lot of people who are console gamers. So there's a game controller, right? And a pair of headphones, right? Which I don't think I have right now. Okay, I will be attaching a link to a lot of earphones actually. Yeah. So let's get on with the keyboard. All right. I'm a bit conscious since it's the first time I'm actually facing the camera. <laughs> All right. So yeah. This is the keyboard. It's Evo Fox. This is the only keyboard they sell, so <laughs> there are not many options in this brand. But I will be attaching a few of uh, alternatives. Okay, so something about this. This is a really nice keyboard. It's a very creaky, very tactile. It's a nice keyboard. It has a great travel, right? This is still chiclet type keys and not mechanical. So keep that in mind. This is not a mechanical keyboard. This is just for um, I think 800 bucks, uh, 800, 900 bucks. So it's not very costly. So you're not going to get an original mechanical keyboard. It's a chiclet style keyboard, but the travel is nice. They've given a good travel. Yeah. And it lights up in just one single multicolored mode. Right. Now something about this, I actually thought, uh, so this is by Amkit. They have something known as Evo Fox, which is their gaming range. And, uh, I genuinely thought this was an Indian product <laughs> since they said it's made in Haryana and all. But uh, the thing is, uh, they bought it from China. It's a great buy, right? But it is my responsibility to inform you that this is imported from China. So I will also be attaching a few alternatives which are not from China. And in a similar price range, the price range for a budget keyboard should be between 800 to 1200. So you're going to get nice keyboards with similar layout in that price range. So I will be attaching the, you know, all the links in the description. You can have a look at those. So I'll be attaching similar kinds of, just keep in mind that the review would be similar, only a few of them might have a bit higher quality, all right? So uh, this keyboard has a great travel and having this travel and this feel actually is easier on your palms. So no one really talks about this, but when you're typing a lot or when you're giving a lot, you're putting a lot of pressure on your palm and your fingers, right? So they start hurting after a certain point of time. So one of my friend is an avid gamer, he games a lot. He got carpal tunnel syndrome because of this. So what uh, happens in this is you have great travel, you have a better feel, it's easier to type and it's more comfortable for your fingers. So you don't get hurt, which is a very important aspect, right? So that's like most of the biggest reason why I got this. Plus it's minimalistic. So on your setup, this might not look very big or huge. It's a minimalistic keyboard 
and has a great so all the main keys that you require are big enough and has a great travel as you can see it has a that mechanical keyboard sound so you're going to like it right so great keyboard only wish it was actually made in india and not imported from china <laughs> yeah i'm not, I, i thought if they said it's coming from haryana and you know factory in haryana and stuff so i thought that this whatever so yeah the alternatives will be given in the description to go for it right but i'm going to be very honest okay and this is something to talk about as far as the gaming industry goes the keyboards that are made right they are not mostly made in india or keyboard mouse game pads they mostly not made in india i don't know the reason why so they still making phones in india but these gaming accessories are a bit difficult to find that are indian made right so if anyone is watching do make indian keyboards people will buy there's a need for it a lot of gamers want indian made keyboard because chinese quality sometimes you get it at cheap but it doesn't really last long some of them do last long the costly products obviously last long but some some of them don't like this keyboard is very sturdy i really like the feel and of it and i've actually dropped it once or twice and it's nice but there are a lot of these chinese brands that don't really last long so there i think i hope that there should be a keyboard you know keyboard brand that is indian made computer accessories brand that provides gaming keyboard right i know there are brands that provide normal keyboards right so let's move on to the gamepad yeah so this is cosmic byte gamepad right okay oh i had to show you the led in the keyboard so let's connect it to a random charger and hope that it does not cut my keyboard so yeah, the keyboard has this colorful feel and it looks pretty nice right so this is the keyboard and uh, now we come into the game pad so this is the cosmic byte game pad i'll be dropping the link below in the description right this is a pretty long video <laughs> yeah so this is the game pad and uh, if you can see if it's visible on the camera it's It's a, it's a rubberized kind of texture so when you gaming you don't really sweat as much and it's really easy to grip the controller so it's really nice it has a great vibration motor on both ends so you have great vibration when you're shooting and all the buttons are very clicky though i do not like these bumper buttons on this one they're very i don't know i've used an xbox controller and this is very sticky so you is really not fun playing with this All right and that everything works really well it has a turbo mode and uh, the keys on this right the a b c keys they have a very unique uh, design okay so i have to show this okay so the game pad doesn't connect to this app connect to the laptop so By the laptop also has fast charging, just in case. So yeah, it has a bottomless kind of key finish where you rotate the key in any angle and it will have like a cool mirror look, right? So it's a pretty cool uh, game pad and it's not that costly. It's I think eight hundred to one thousand, and it's really good. It's really sturdy and the gaming feel of this one is pretty good. Yeah, so do check it out. I'll also leave alternatives down below. Yeah. So that was the controller, and then we come to the mouse. So you not believe this mouse, right? Let me just plug it in, show you. This is probably the cheapest gaming mouse that I've found out. I got it for three hundred bucks. Yeah. So, it's damn nice. It's like really nice. It has different colors. So I got it for three hundred bucks, and yeah, the quality is debatable because it's very plasticky, and I had another. red gear mouse before it so that was pretty good so if you're buying a mouse i will leave a few in the description i'll try to find this this is actually goes out of stock very fast this is mftek mouse it's a weird company but dude this thing is cheap this 300 bucks for this gaming mouse it has 3000 dpi and it works amazingly right so i'll be dropping the link in the description there's not much to say it is accurate it works well the lag input lag is low like extremely low so you won't have to worry about that side so it works pretty well then i have something that i don't think a lot of gamers think about 
or or a lot of content creators think about or use i'm not sure this stand <laughs> it's a mobile stand and uh, the reason why i use this is dumb but whatever it's actually when i keep it here i just keep the screen on and i get all the messages and everything and i can just deal with it in one go here so i don't have to pick up the phone again and again i can see the time and everything right and another thing is um now this you can buy of any company very honestly any company okay so i'm going to lop a few of the good ones it's a cleaning kit right this is just the spray i usually lose most of my stuff of a cleaning kit so this is an anti static non alcoholic cleaning kit so i would suggest using this because if you're cleaning any component that's you know that can get damaged due to static or alcohol this is the best one it's really nice it really cleans up your screens so do use it i'll be dropping this link and this is one of the most important parts of a setup because you need to clean your lcd screens because the screens have dirt on it and you play for long hours or you do something for long hours you're going to hurt your eyes so make sure you use a cleaning solution on your setups clean your setups regularly all right so guys that's all for my this video i'll be coming out with another video related to iqo if you like this video please like share and subscribe if you like the products go buy them from the links below will help the channel if you do like tech news or if you didn't like something do comment down below i will improve on it i'm just starting up yeah i hope you like the video guys and i hope you like share and subscribe thank you that's all for today